Don't call my name, don't call my name. Ollie Egg Roll. Ollie, 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 Ollie Egg Roll. What? Oh, hey, this is Randy Hall with news from the year 3045. Brought to you by Tachyon Technology, faster than the speed of light. And remember our sponsor, Cosmos Harmony. Remember, you can find your true love in the galaxy with Cosmos Harmony. With breaking news, Mary Wells, an ecologist, has written a book on ecology during the 20th and 21st century. In the book, she says it became the responsibility of 21st century science, technology, and industry to clean up the mess created by 20th century industry, technology, and science. She says not to get it wrong, the 20th century was a time of great industrial achievement, but it had a byproduct, namely pollution. Everything from uh, polluted rivers to smog and carbon dioxide in the air, it was a problem. However, 21st century science, industry, and technology was a time of solutions produced where we think from commercial devices that remove carbon dioxide from the air to genetically modified bacteria that ate pollution in the rivers in the sea and the seas thus removing it. It included solar energy wind power and cars that uh, eventually ran on water. So the 21st century was a time of great achievement and technological and scientific progress. She said the public desire green products and industry provide them in the millions. The book is called The Glory Days, so you might want to look for that. In other news, the Yellowstone Park Indians say they have to thin the buffalo herds, so they will be releasing fresh, bis fresh bison meat to the markets. Buffalo, also known as bison, have a meat that is low in fat and high in omega-3s, omega just like fish. So you may want to be looking out for that. Here's a fact you wouldn't know in the early 21st century because it hasn't happened yet. In the late 21st century, national parks were turned over to the American Indians for safekeeping. The parks were expensive to look after, and taxpayers complained all the time. So they turned the parks over to the Indians to look after. Also, the Indians were naturals for the job because of their belief and respect in spirits of nature and their respect for Mother Earth. The American Indians charged fees for general public to go to the parks, which increased the Indians' income. <coughs> Excuse me. They also charged hunt <coughs> hunting fees. If you wanted to go hunt on the parks, which you were allowed to when the American Indians took over, you had to pay a, a hunting fee plus a guide fee, and the guide would be an Indian. And thousands of hunters wanted to hunt that way, wanted to hunt on the parks. So they made money that way. So it, incre it, it enabled the American Indians to increase their income at the same time solving a tax problem for the taxpayer. Uh, it's it's interesting to know that in the 31st century, uh, this is still going on. The American Indians still look after the parks, even though some still some people are still disturbed by seeing a, an Indian dressed in only a buckskin. I will follow with a poem called "Minds of the Universe." I am one of the minds of the universe, as I believe you are one of the minds. I was formed from the dust of the earth. The earth and the planets were formed from the same dust as the sun, the same dust the other stars and their planets are made of. From that same dust the galaxies were formed. From that same dust the universe was formed. I am a part of the universe, perhaps just a small fragment, but because I am alive it can be said that the universe is alive. Because I think and I am aware of myself, the planets, the stars, and the galaxies, it can be said that the universe is aware of itself. I am one of the minds of the universe. If you can understand this, then so are you. Well, uh, if you like my episodes, 
You can find more by searching Randy Hoyle, year 3045 on YouTube. If you'd like to see my other videos dealing with humor, philosophy, poetry, and just a, a large variety of things, you can search uh, Randy Hoyle, R-E-N-D-Y-H-O-Y-L-E, -E, on YouTube.com. Or you can search Charlie Gorilla. That's one word, Charlie Gorilla. It's spelled the way it sounds on YouTube. I also have a book called The Ballad of Dred Scott that's available at Amazon and other book services. It's about uh, it's a story about a black heroic being, a man who sues for his freedom before the Civil War. It teaches that sometimes even when you lose, you can still win if you don't give up your dream. I will. Uh, I want to remind you to tell your friends about these video blogs because that's what uh, YouTube's all about. Share them with your friends. I'll end with a blessing. May you always have the freedom to choose the path of reason. And when reason is not, may you have the wisdom to know it. Remember, fight for your dream. Turn it into reality so you can benefit from it. Have a good day. Bye-bye.